And we're back. Yeah, welcome back to Endless Mode. I'm Mysterious Gamer X, and that's Captain Emoji, and we are at J06. Watch out now, Ink and Watch Station. Bust all targets with limited ink. Do you think it's a reference to the old Game and Watch games? That makes sense. Okay, that raises a question. Um, so we've seen a bunch of Game Boys and stuff floating around in the background, and I actually see some RCA cables. Yeah, and a Game and Watch. Uh, fun little fact there. What do you think the Inklings make of uh, some of the characters in Super Smash Brothers? Then that's a good question. Like, I mean, that means that they, sh some of them at least, should know who Mr. Game and Watch is, and possibly some of the other characters. Oh crap! I'm off to a bad start. Okay. I think you have to hit those when they cross paths. Yeah. Like, I think you have to get a twofer. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Ooh, this is the last one. Yeah, no, I'm done. Okay. Alright, that one's challenging. Much better. Okay. Doing and then I guess that last so one, far. it's all about how many can you hit with one splash. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Dang. Close. Doing better. That shows that you can miss uh, two of them. Mm -hmm. uh, you can miss two of them, and you don't have to get a twofer on the... Uh... On these guys. Yeah. But it would be really helpful if I did. Well, sure. I mean, it gives you an extra shot. But, but it's not... You don't have to shoot perfectly. Uh, which is good to know, because I always worry on these challenges. <laughs> how much leeway am I being given? Like... How much of a surgeon do I have to be with the blaster? Well, don't fall off the edge, so that'd probably help. You're doing good, though. I mean, you're getting the hang of this a lot faster than I'm probably going to. Okay. Trying to dive off the stage before he <laughs> exacts vengeance. It probably hurts less. On the other hand, I can see why the splat roller would work fairly well. Oh? Uh, that was the recommended option. Oh! Yeah, it's got great uh, vertical for this one, I bet. Uh, like, specifically this guy. Okay, just gotta hit it. Just put myself in the way and yeah. Nice job. Alright, even made money. It's first time in a little bit for that. Thankfully you've built up a, a decent little nest egg so far. Yeah. We got what? Shoes? Different pair of shoes. Other yeah. shoes. Orange arrows. Okay. Such devil fish make hair couture. <laughs> yeah, truly, truly, truly outrageous station. Hey, oh. we just have to get to the goal. That should be a piece of cake. It's, uh, it's Gem and the Hologram Girls. Is She's that truly, what that is? truly, truly outrageous. Ah. So, with that description, what hints can you give me? <laughs> um. Well, I mean, based on my uh, my knowledge of Gem of the Hologram Girls, 
you're going to be trying to save an orphanage from the person who owns it. And okay. your rivals are actually pretty harmless. I don't know. I don't know that there's any good uh, info there. Fair enough. It just looks like a stage so far. But, like, uh, like her whole bit is, uh, like, her and her band that magically transform uh, are usually having to do something to save the orphanage that they all grew up in from, like, a greedy land developer who is stuck with the orphanage. <laughs> It's 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 like one of those rent control sort of situations where oh, gotcha. he has to find a way to make it shut down before he can develop it into something that is profitable. But he has to make it look like it totally happened on its own. Uh, so he's usually trying to sabotage something, and then Gem and company save the day. And then he's right. like, "Oh, th thank you, Gem, uh, for saving us with that concert." Man, I don't know what I would have done. Those those poor orphans. <laughs> Shucks. It would have been a shame if I could have developed that into mega rich condos. Oh, good lord! They've got this honestly place. the only unbelievable part of it now is is the idea that he wouldn't just be more transparent about his desire to develop it. <laughs> That's uh... back when gentrification had to be subtle. Ah, crap. I, uh, they got a good little kill box going on down there. Yeah, they do. I've, uh... I've been following a, a Tumblr of uh, the worst room listings on <laughs> Craigslist. Just people, you know, furnishing straight-up closets and hallways uh, in, like, New York and other big cities. Right. Uh, and listing them on Craigslist for, you know, whatever they think they can get away with, I guess. I guess there was somebody renting a, a three-bedroom floor of an apartment building, and they put up a bunch of sheetrock and managed to turn it into ten tiny Airbnbs that they rented out <laughs> uh, before the uh, homeowner or before the building owner found out and uh, like had to sue. <laughs> but. Uh, uh, I don't normally go out of my way for these sorts of, like, weird tales of late-stage capitalism stories, but uh, I guess everyone was complaining about uh, a bathroom design in a, in a Batgirl comic this morning. So uh, I spent a lot of my time looking at just truly abhorrent uh, room design. Just a whole lot of, you know, like, toilets that you can only use with the door open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that sort of thing. Um, and I mean, I haven't lived in a furnished hallway or anything, but uh, I do remember uh, staying in what was otherwise a pretty decent split level. Uh, but the downstairs bathroom uh, was in a weird wedge shape. Uh, it had a standing shower, which is fine. I don't I have nothing against standing showers. Uh, I mean, I typically take showers anyway, so it doesn't bother me that it wasn't a tub. But it was a standing shower, uh, a sink that you could, a sink and a toilet you could reach from the shower, uh, and it was carpeted. Hmm. Um, none of those things are good, but together uh, they made for just a a terrible bathroom experience concept situation. Um, I mean, you should never have to vacuum your bathroom <laughs> carpet. <laughs> For a variety of reasons. Right. You know, there's a reason that you go with something like tile that you can mop and do, like, a thorough, uh, you know, bleaching to. Uh, you know, with some rugs that you could toss in the wash. Like, there's a reason for this. Only thing I can think of that would be worse would be maybe be, like, carpeted kitchen. I had just coming up with the cursed ideas. <laughs> oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> I don't think that one wanted to be found. I had a snorkel on, so that's fun. Oh, you can climb over terrain with the baller. Not when that guy's shooting at me, I can't. Well, sure, I, I mean, I get you. But uh, you can climb up there and 
and take the fight to him with the baller if you want. If you don't want to have to shotgun your way up there. Can't shotgun my way up there. So? Can't climb up there. Oh! Well, that's weird. Sorry, I did not mean to lead you wrong. That's alright. It can climb most surfaces, and I know it's climbed once on... You had, like, a, a tower stage where you had to hit all of the checkpoints? Yeah, yeah. And you were able to climb on a lot of surfaces that I didn't think you could, like, traditionally ink. I don't know, it's definitely one of my less used specials, but uh, I could have swore you'd have been able to climb them, but apparently not. Right. Turns out he wasn't, like, required for getting through there anyway, but... <laughs> You guys all need to calm down. <laughs> Alright? Just chill. I gonna say, you do have an umbrella, so... You do have some mobile cover to help get you where you gotta go. Y'all need to just relax, guys. Yikes. I think it's just the one guy's uh, left. I have to assume that Stingray is going to be useful somewhere down the road, because I mean, that was going to be the last guy you fought. I, I don't know who else they want you to use that on, but it's got to be somewhere further down the stage. Him over there. <laughs> but... Oh! He's on a platform that. Okay. That's why you kept hearing him but not, uh, not seeing him anymore. Take that, jerk. to knock those two off with an umbrella if you, uh, you hit them just right. That works too. Aha! Yeah, okay, I don't know what those... Stingray was for. There wasn't eh, really I could have good... used them on those shield guys, I guess. I guess. But, I mean, there really wasn't a good spot where it would have made a huge difference. Not really. And, I mean, it makes you a very stationary target, which is not, not ideal great. when there's a lot of rapid fire nonsense. Yeah. Alrighty. Watch your step, Footloose Station. Defeat all enemies before time runs out. That. I don't like timed missions like that. Just channel your inner Kevin Bacon. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll pretend I know what you mean like that. Well, it's focus. Oh. Uh, oh, geez. Louise. Oh, it's one of those. Oh. Right. I wonder if you knew if you knew where they were gonna spawn. Like if you had to come back and play the stage again. Uh, I wonder if you could hit the boxes that they're supposed to spawn on and have them fall into the abyss. I don't see why you couldn't. <clears throat> oh. Ah. Okay. Sniper. 
Great. Meaning those boxes are just toast if they hit them. I mean... Except for maybe the laminated ones. Yeah, that works. <laughs> okay, so at least it's at least it's equal for everybody, I guess. Oh. oh. Okay. So the umbrella. Double-edged sword. Yeah. Maybe not the best item. Uh, your mobile cover is going to wreck those boxes. Good to know. That'll wreck the weak boxes anyway. Yeah. I do like that it makes fun little patterns. That is very enjoyable. Oh no. I was gonna say, uh, that's... that's bad. Oh no. And of course, they fly, so they do not care about collateral damage. No, they do not. Those are the last two bad guys, though, so... I was gonna say, at least it gives you a checkpoint, though. No, it doesn't. Didn't it? You didn't have to take out that first group. Yeah, it did. Oh, so these guys are that first group? Yeah. Okay. For some reason I thought that there was just a separate group of, uh... ...of Octarians after the sniper. You just chose to engage the sniper first. How much care you allowed to dodge? <laughs> Yikes. Ridiculous five you dodges have to dance in a row. around a lot, so I guess the name actually does kind of make sense. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Like the gem and the hologram girls one didn't really elicit anything where I was like, "Oh, I get the reference." Like, why the reference? But no, that one you actually did have to dance around a lot. That that makes a certain amount of sense. I'm gonna steal somebody's shoes. <laughs> I do like that hat. It's a good hat. Alright, well, next time on Endless Mode, we'll hopefully get the last two of the uh, J line done here. Yeah. And then start working our way toward our last thing where nothing bad will happen. I hope. I feel I feel good about it. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> anyway, it's thanks good. for good watching. Good vibes. Good vibes only here. <laughs>